Hello Tubies, it's me again with my almost finished 1612 tube compressor and now I want to demonstrate the features of this one. First of all the overall sound quality I have set up my mixer system. This is the compressor output and these two are the stereo independent output of my computer system. Okay, let's run the signal. You're already familiar with it. Okay. okay. Volume a little bit up. Maybe it's better in the result. Okay. Uh, the camera does it. Yeah. This is what you're actually hearing. This is the sound output. And this is the direct output. Let's switch a little bit backwards. Switch back and forth right now. Slightly different, but that's it. Because I have used no trannies at all, nothing in between, just the tubes, and therefore some noticeable frequency distortion. Maybe if you want to call it like this way. Okay, but it's not intended to be used as a, a high-quality super hi-fi compressor but it's up to make some sound so right now I set the old controls up for the fastest mode and for uh, brick wall limiting you can also do this with tubes all you have to know about the electronics behind this okay let's higher the volume of the input slightly but not on the knobs because it won't do anything you have to higher it on the source okay let's do it okay here it goes oops let's wait okay increasing oh that is very heavy 200% Output volume increasing of the source. Compressor is acting heavily. You notice this one. Detects detector output signal. Now come. Full swing here, nearly full swing. Heavy compressing, brickwork compressing. Okay, let's lower the volume slightly. So, compressor is really acting like it's not inside. Okay. So, next is what the, all the knobs do. Okay, let's see. If I raise the input, nothing happens, just a little bit distortion of the tubes. But that is how I want to do, because the threshold has to be independent, in my opinion, to the input level. Because otherwise you have to, if you want to distort something, you have to um, regulate this one as well. But I don't want to do this, I just want a distortion, if I want. <laughs> if I want now to have the compressor in this one, okay, let's do the ratio a little bit down and come on. Okay, here you see it. This 
the detector level, feed into the tube and now I raise the ratio a little. Ah, here's Yeah, hear it, I think. I hear it very well. So, the next is the attack and release. It's very fast right now. I switch it to more normal level, a little bit lower the volume. Real compressing, not limiting. Oh, here we are. Relative slow attack, slow release, and it's like more than a leveling compressor. Here's the input output. Let's see what the input output do. Switch to the input here. Switch to the output here. If I turn this here, <laughs> output level. The hundred correspond to zero dBVU. Here's the input. Just turn the output to see. Nothing happens here. The input meter in. So switch back to the output. So next thing up to demonstrate is the switch between fast forward compressing and may a little bit slower backward compressing. Now forward compressing is now the signal that for the detector is now the input directly into the detector circuit. And if I this I got some light here and now we got a feedback compressor the detector signal is now at the end of the compressor the output but not after the output level sondern in front of the output level you see nothing here right now if I lower the ratio and I can see it a little bit better so over here high the ratio compressors acting and the detector signal gets lower this is how uh, feedback is working well, if you Increase the input. And see this a little bit. The compressor acts more like a leveling system, not really as a compressor, because if uh, the signal goes way beyond or I want to go way beyond the threshold, which is now maximum possible it will force the reg regulator tube to pull the volume down and so the detector volume increases as well and so the whole thing weird I think the whole volume decreases as well you're running in forward mode. Oops. Slightly more transient. I don't know if it's here through the YouTube uh, engine. I think it will mask it out.
feed forward compressing feedback compressing very different for me maybe for you as well I hope so or I do uh, high quality audio only so next to demonstrate is when I pull this knob I engage the tube diodes for the rectifier and detector circuit the transients are gone as well as I pull the knob out the transients are not as present as before push it back in ah here the transients are, I don't know if it's on the YouTube as well I need to do a high quality audio only okay let's run it and here I've done a plexi inlay for the knob you may see the... no it's too dark I've done here this, what you see here, it's on here as well, but in this light condition it's not very good to see for the camera, but for my eyes it's clearly visible. And behind you see all the tubes glowing and the not finished metering, here are tube lights, very good to see here. And um, first and last LED inside already, but not in function as I have to finish it up and then, and then soldering all together. And this one here is the side chain. It's a uh, normal Dean. socket or for the old fashioned connectors like they used to in the 50s or 60s okay that's about it I do another thing when it's fully done bye bye YouTube enjoy this week and have fun